and sunshine took over. The sunshine and the Chamber of Commerce. Soon, California was known as one of the world's greatest playgrounds, attracting increasing... Its fabulous Hollywood's motion picture industry rocketed into one of the world's biggest business enterprises, beckoning thousands with stars in their eyes and a willingness to do almost anything to crash the movies. while Los Angeles is first in the nation for its sport styles. The enterprise and taste of manufacturers like Cole of California are rapidly diminishing the lead once held by New York's clothing industry. The highly prized California look is becoming a must all over the country and can be recognized without even a glance at the label. The strength of California's industry of America. Let's visit a typical American home in a small city. Here we find Mrs. Carter just finishing a nourishing tuna casserole for the evening meal. Two hungry school children are ready for a quick snack, which will give them added energy for a healthful period of play between now and dinner time. Mother knows that tuna is not only a highly digestible, high-protein health food, but also that her children like these tasty mid-afternoon sandwiches. It's easy to prepare a hot casserole with tuna meat as the principal ingredient, and Mrs. Carter knows that every ounce she buys will provide healthful and economical nourishment. The long bridge of distance between Mrs. Carter's kitchen and the Bay of Guaymas is spanned in an instant by the magic of photography. Here we find the fishing boats and pelicans as active as ever. The bridge of memory continues southward to the fishing banks off the coast of Panama, where the tuna fishermen are continuously harvesting the riches of the sea. Back in San Diego, Pedro is preparing tuna for the cookers. Marie, Josephine, and many others are cleaning the fish ready for the canning process, while Martha feeds the tuna into the automatic packing. Jonesy watches the dials that control the pressure retort, while Bill helps to load more freight cars with cases of breast or chicken tuna. And in these modern offices, administrative, sales, and clerical staff oversee the many details necessary to the management of this far-flung enterprise. All of these men and women are members of an all-American team. They wrote The Tuna Story. <laughs>